The Parliament had its customary share of witty and amusing speeches, with probably the most memorable being that of the Conservative Penny Mordaunt. When she replied to the Queen's speech in 2014, she reminded MPs the last time a woman had made the reply was back in 1957, when Lady Tweedsmuir spoke, and the opposition leader had had to reply to her. Mr Gateskill, with gallant intent, I am sure, replied to a nod in Commons that Lady Tweedsmuir had probably made some good points, but that he, alas, was unable to respond to any of them. For such was the distraction of her soft, attractive voice. <laughs> that despite being a grandmother, she was rather easy on the arm. <laughs> he, he found it quite impossible to concentrate on anything she had had to say. In recounting this, Mr Speaker, I realise I may have left the current leader of the opposition with a very modern man's dilemma. As he says, Does he now risk insulting me if he thinks <laughs> Issues raised and failed to mention that I am also a softly spoken charm. <laughs> or, or if he were to compliment me, does he risk the wrath of the Labour Party's women's caucus? <laughs> potentially, potentially using the newly introduced power of recall. <laughs> times for a chap. <laughs> she was glad more military roles were now open to women, but thought training needed to change. I have benefited from, from some excellent training by the Royal Navy, but on one occasion I felt it was not as bespoke as it might have been. Fascinating though it was, I felt that the lecture and practical demonstration on how to care for your penis and testicles in the field <laughs> failed to appreciate that some of us attending had been issued with the incorrect kick. 